Captain Cold Crush, get it cracking. There's more than one person right now that's not laughing. Scratch microphones with unknown chromosomes to discover the codes that controls the brain's frontal lobes. The pineal gland glow, go, go, go. Don't look back, I got your back, bro. He's a high profile target, code name Sergeant Armpit. He was rock my lost first artist. Let me bust him, nah. I'ma punish him, rock. I'ma show you how the motherfucking government lie. Got nothing to do with pride. You must realize, few of us will be alive. I sold a cycle 25. Released in 2010, Melatonin Magic stands as one of Cannabis' most conceptually driven albums, rich with his signature intellectual depth and unmatched lyrical prowess. Today we're focusing on three standout tracks, Melatonin Magic, Only Slaves Dream, and The Dragon of Judah, to break down why this album continues to resonate with fans of conscious and underground hip-hop. Melatonin Magic is a dense, thought-provoking album that explores themes of consciousness, social control, and metaphysical power. Throughout the project, Cannabis weaves together intricate rhymes, cultural critiques, and esoteric references. It's clear from the opening bars that this album isn't just about hip-hop, it's about waking up to deeper truths, hence the title, Melatonin Magic. Melatonin, a hormone associated with sleep, serves as a metaphor for awakening hidden knowledge and inner power. Let's dive into three tracks that encapsulate the essence of this album. The title track, Melatonin Magic, sets the tone for the entire album. Cannabis uses melatonin as a metaphor for enlightenment and the power of the human mind. The production is haunting and atmospheric with a hypnotic beat that complements the track's introspective and philosophical nature. Lyrically, Cannabis dives deep into themes of consciousness and control, dissecting the ways in which society tries to keep people in a state of ignorance. His rhymes are dense and packed with scientific, spiritual, and cultural references. One key takeaway from this track is his assertion that true power comes from inner knowledge, something not taught but discovered through personal awakening. The production here is minimalist, allowing Cannabis' intricate lyricism to take center stage. His flow is relentless, forcing listeners to pay attention to every word. It's an intense track that demands multiple listens to unpack the layers of meaning within it. Only Slave's Dream takes the metaphysical themes even further. The track deals with the concept of mental slavery, how people are kept in chains through societal programming and a lack of awareness about their true potential. Cannabis reflects on the mental barriers that prevent individuals from breaking free and realizing their own power. The production on this track is more aggressive, with sharp, punchy drums and a darker, almost foreboding vibe. This sound serves as the perfect backdrop for Cannabis's intense delivery. The track feels like a wake-up call, urging listeners to break out of the mental fog and see the world for what it truly is, a place where only those who are mentally enslaved remain asleep, trapped in their own limited perceptions. Cannabis, with his rapid-fire flow, hammers home the point that freedom begins in the mind. Only Slave's Dream is a heavy track, but its message is one of empowerment, pushing listeners to break free from the societal constraints that keep them in a state of passivity. The Dragon of Judah is one of the most powerful and symbolically charged tracks on the album. The title references the biblical Lion of Judah, symbolizing strength, justice, and spiritual power. Cannabis uses this imagery to position himself as a warrior battling against oppression and falsehoods. The dragon, in this sense, represents both a force to be reckoned with and a protector of truth. The production on this track is cinematic, with epic soundscapes that mirror the mythological and historical references in the lyrics. Cannabis goes full throttle here, combining religious symbolism, political commentary, and metaphysical thought. The Dragon of Judah becomes a metaphor for both resistance and spiritual awakening, as Cannabis continues his mission to expose hidden truths and fight against the forces that seek to control humanity. His delivery is aggressive, matching the intensity of the subject matter. The layered meaning in The Dragon of Judah reveals Cannabis's belief in not only challenging external systems of control, but also mastering one's internal battles. The track is a testament to his lyrical genius and his ability to blend intellectual themes with raw emotion. Melatonin
Magic is an album that stands as a cornerstone in Cannabis's career, a project that solidified his role as a torchbearer for conscious, revolutionary hip-hop. Tracks like Melatonin Magic, Only Slaves Dream, and The Dragon of Judah show Cannabis at his most introspective and intellectually daring. With this album, Cannabis continues to challenge both the listener and the broader industry. The themes of mental freedom, spiritual awakening, and resistance against oppression resonate deeply in today's world, making melatonin magic as relevant now as it was when it first dropped in 2010. If you're looking for an album that dives beyond the surface and into the realms of philosophy, spirituality, and political critique, melatonin magic delivers in ways few hip-hop albums can. If you haven't revisited Melatonin Magic in a while, now's the time. This album is a lyrical treasure chest filled with Cannabis's most profound thoughts and cutting commentary. With its layered meanings and intense subject matter, it remains a pivotal work in Cannabis's legacy as one of hip-hop's most intellectual artists. Stay tuned for more in-depth breakdowns of Cannabis's work as we continue to explore the mind and mastery of one of the greatest lyricists to ever touch the mic. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into the music, the message, and the mind of cannabis. Make the background music epic, soulful. What do you fear? Why you spazzing out? Why you so scared? Everybody wanna be first. Nobody wants to be last. Do you think a God that created this will watch all of us die while others just laugh? What happens when the money system crash? crash. And there's no more value in the cash. cash. You gon' suck dick and sell ass? You gon' try to fight back with your hands? You probably change your money into gold. gold. gold.